Hi, welcome to Free Fiddle Lessons. Today we're going to learn a first tune, uh, Boil Them Cabbage Down, which is an old time tune from Southern Appalachians of the US. And it's a great place to start. Uh, it gets you used to all your different fingers and playing on the A and the E strings. So this is the A string, the second string in from the top. That's the E string, the highest. We're going to use those two strings in this tune. And the first first part of the tune, uh, most fiddle tunes have two parts, an A part and a B part, and those parts usually repeat. So you play A part, A part, B part, B part, and that's one time through the tune. You can then play more than once through the tune by playing the same A, A, B, B structure. So the A part is going to be only on the A string, and that's just coincidental. It's not because it's, it's not called the A part because of the A string. So there's our A, our note A, and we have um, three main finger positions that we're going to use for most of our beginning fiddle tunes. Eventually we'll use the pinky finger also. But for this tune we're going to use the first three fingers and we call them one, two, and three. This would be fourth finger. So um, the notes are also uh, useful to know. So we have open A string which is the note A, first finger which is the note B, second finger which is the note C sharp, and third finger which is the note D. So to recap, we have A, B sounds like this, C sharp sounds like this, and D sounds like this. Now some people show you to add fingers like this, and when you put your third finger down to put all fingers down. I don't generally teach that way, um, because I find it's useful later on to use my fingers separately, which people usually transition to. But um, So I teach just one finger down at a time, but if it's more comfortable for you, you can use block fingering, it's called and put each finger down um, and add add them like that. So um, we're going to start, oh I want to show you the finger placement too. So I'll lift my fingers up so you can maybe see better. You can see that there's a gap, this part is the nut, a gap between the first finger position and the nut, another gap, a big space between the second and third finger, and then the third finger is close to the second. Um, the big steps, big spaces, are called whole steps, um, and there's actually another note that's in between each of those fingers and, and the previous note. And then the small step is a half step, and there is no other note in between. There, I mean, there are lots of other notes, but there's no named note. So from C sharp to D um, is one half step and is one step on a piano key from one key to the next. Um, whereas A to B, there's a note in between, which we could call A sharp or B flat. And from B to C sharp, there's a note in between, which we call C. Uh, and we'll use that C position uh, a little bit later on. But for now, we're going to start um, with this nice spacing between the first finger and second finger, and between the first finger and the nut. So, uh, the best way to do it also is to just listen to the sound of the note and try to match that sound with your finger. And um, you can get higher notes by moving further up the string, closer to you. We say up. A lot of people think it should be down because they're thinking of, um, of things being close to them or farther away from them. But in music, we always are talking about the pitch of the note, how high or low the note is. So up on the fiddle is moving towards us, down is moving away. And we can get higher notes on the fiddle by adding, uh, adding fingers. And we get lower notes by taking them away. We can also get higher notes by moving to a higher string, from the A string to the E string. And we can get lower notes <clears throat> by moving to a lower string, from the E string to the A, the A string to the D, etc. Um, so um, maybe I'll make a scale in here too. Um, and we will get to the tune, I promise. So the A scale. Um, the A major scale, we're going to use these same finger positions that we talked about on the A string, also on the E string, and that'll get us to the top of the scale. The scale um, uh, is going to have a, a particular series of whole steps and half steps. It's always going to be the same. That's maybe a music theory topic for another video, but we have from open A to first finger, which is B, to C sharp, which is second finger, third finger right next to it is D. Then we move to the E string. Open E, first finger, which is F sharp, 
Second finger, which is G sharp. And third finger, which is high A. Now let's go back down. A, right next to it, is the G sharp. A space to the F sharp. Open E. Third finger on the A string, so you need to move both the bow and the finger back to the A string. That's D. Second finger right next to it, C sharp. First finger, B. And open A. Let's play that scale again smoothly. And um, because it's hard to transition at first, let's play four bows on each, um, four bow strokes on each note. So we'll play, play A four times. So you can practice going up and down the scale. It's a good way to practice your sound and to get your fingers used to those placements. Okay, now on to our tune, which like I said, is Boil Them Cabbage Down. And here's what it sounds like. I'm gonna play it a couple of times through. To start a lot tamer than that and we're gonna start a lot slower than that one of the things about fiddle tunes is there's kind of a a basic tune that most people might agree on um, or a couple different versions maybe more than a couple a bunch of different versions that people all more more or less agree sound like the same tune uh, and then part of the art of fiddling is finding um, the ways that you want to um, vary or, or um, play with that melody um, by adding or subtracting notes, by changing rhythms sometimes, um, by adding what's called ornamentation or harmonies or double stops. Uh, all of these are things that you'll gradually learn about and are different from style to style. So their different styles depend um, partly on what notes are used in the tune um, or distinguishing different styles, but a lot of it's based on what um, details you're choosing to include on how the ornamentation works in that style, how harmonies work in that style. Uh, so you can even have a single tune that's played in multiple different styles and it'll sound like a Scottish tune or an Irish tune, 
depending on who's playing it and what sort of ornamentation they're using. Or an Irish tune and an old time tune, which are, I would say, even more different from each other than Irish and Scottish traditions. So, um, I think that's part of what, what really excites me about fiddle playing is um, the tunes themselves, but also what you do with the tunes. Um, so we'll get to all of that, but at the beginning it's easy to start out with something straightforward and pretty simple and pretty slow. So that's how we're going to attack this boil them cabbage down. We're going to start with the A string, second finger, and like I said, A string all the way through this first part, the A part. So let's get our second finger down, it should sound like this. And we're going to play it four times. Um, is the note C sharp, and then we're going to play the D, the third finger, twice. And the D's are going to be longer than than the um, than the C sharps. The C sharps are what we call quarter notes, and the D's um, are what we call half notes. And apologies for those of you in Europe, I have not mastered quavers and minims, but I think that's what they're called. Uh, I might be wrong. There might be something else that I'm missing out on. So. Uh, you can look at the sheet music if you're wondering what on earth I'm talking about. So, C sharp, second finger, here we go, four times. And then the third finger twice. Now let's do that again without the pause in the middle. Second finger and then third finger, here we go. time. Here we go. Okay, we're ready for the, that's the first phrase. We're ready for the second phrase, which again is going to start on the C sharp second finger four times, but this time we're going to go um, for the long notes on the first finger, which is the note B. So, and again, we're going to play two of those long notes, four C sharps, two Bs. Here we go. Let's do that one again. Second phrase, C sharp, four times, and then B twice. All right, let's put those two phrases together. Starting on second finger, we go four times, then we go to the third finger, the D, twice, back to the second finger, and then down to the first finger. So here we go. You know, as you're using these videos, I very much encourage you to pause them and try again on your own. Pause and go back and do it with me a couple of times. And I do try to put some links down in the comments to the different sections of the tune. Um, so um, the third phrase, um, you might want to, I guess what I'm saying is you might want to practice that little sequence a couple of more times, um, but you can do that by moving back in the video. So we're going to move on to the third phrase, which is um, still gonna start with four times, four notes on the on the C sharp, the second finger. But this time we're gonna not play long notes afterwards, we're gonna play four um, of the, the third fingers, the Ds. So it's gonna have the same rhythm all the way through, the same ba 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 all short notes. So four of each, C sharp and D. Here we go. Okay, let's do that again. Four and four. C sharp and D, second finger and third finger. Okay, and here's the ending, the fourth phrase, the ending of the A part. It's going to be two C sharps, second finger, two Bs, first finger, and those are all short notes, and then two long open A's to finish. So it sounds like this. Do it again, C sharp, two ice, two Bs, first finger, two open A's. Okay, let's put the third and the fourth phrases together. So we'll do start on C sharp, four times, D four times, 
and then the walking down, we call it, the pitch is lowering, C sharp twice, B twice, open A twice long. So C, 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 C. And sometimes, sometimes when we're talking about notes, we drop the sharp or flat, it can be confusing. So I do mean C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, but for some reason I don't want to say that. Here we go. string, second finger twice, first finger twice, and A twice, but long. Okay, now let's try joining that whole first part together, all four phrases. So it starts on C sharp. Ready, go. Long Ds. Back to C sharp, second finger. And the long B's, first finger. Back to C sharp, four times. And four D's. And the ending, C sharp twice, B twice. And long A's. And then we would go right back into the beginning, repeating that A part. Um, but here in the video, we're going to, I will play through the whole tune slowly at the end uh, for you to play along with, but we're going to try now to go to the B part. Um, the other feature is that if I'm still moving too fast for you and you want to see and hear my notes much more slowly, um, there's a little gear wheel in the corner of the YouTube screen. Uh, and if you click on that, you can select speed and you can slow me down uh, to 75% or 50%. Uh, the 25 percent you don't get sound so that's not very useful for music stuff um, but that's a very useful tool and you can do that on any YouTube video so that's really useful when it comes to learning fiddle tunes okay so for the B part we're going to go um, to the E string which is exciting so a reminder we've been on the A string here the higher string um, closer to the ground I guess sort of is the E string it should sound like that so um, we still start on the C sharp, that second finger on the A string, but then we are going to go immediately to the E string and back. So what, one thing that might help to practice first is just switching between those strings, the A string and the E string, cleanly. It's very common when you're first learning to be kind of bu bumping other strings getting some of this crunching sound. So I talk a lot about sound uh, issues in an earlier video um, that you can check out. Um, but it's all about where your bow is, where it's going, how much pressure you're using, how fast you're moving it, and what string you're on. So just a couple of variables. <laughs> um, first phrase of the B part is going to sound like. So again, we start on C sharp, second finger on the A string, and we're going to move to E for two notes, and then back to the C sharp. And then we're going to play two long open E's. So there's a lot of going back and forth between the A and the E string. Let's try it. C sharp, two E's, back to the C sharp, and two long E's. Now one thing fiddlers like to do is play fast, and uh, to help us play fast, one of the, our strategies that we use is to not pick up a finger if we don't need to. So um, we can leave this C sharp, the second finger down on the A string, while we play the E string. So we come back to it like that. Now very frequently you'll get a problem where your finger is bumping into the E string like this. Sounds beautiful, doesn't it? So to fix that, you can be checking if you're straight up and down on your finger. Um, you can be moving your finger over more so you're bumping into the, this is the D string, which we're not using in this tune, so it doesn't matter if we bump it. Um, anything we want so we can make a little clear path and be able to play our E string without screeches. So let's try that first phrase again. phrase starts the same but uh, it's going to go after the second finger E E second finger to the first finger on the A string the B 
So C sharp to start, second finger. Back to the C sharp and first finger. That's the B. So it's that same rhythm pattern of ba 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 ba. Let's put those two phrases together, starting at the beginning of the B part, C sharp, and then to E. Back to the C sharp, back to E. C sharp again. Back to C sharp and to the B, first finger. And then you actually know the whole tune because of the rest of the B part, the third and fourth phrase, are the same as in the A part. So let's play those. We'll play the third and fourth phrases together. And it's, the, like I said, same as the A part. So we have the four C sharps, the four Ds, and then the walking down the scale, two C sharps, two Bs, and two long open A's. Here we go, third and fourth phrases. Okay, so now let's play through, um, we'll play through the whole B part once, and we would normally play it twice, but then I'll loop right around and we'll start playing from the beginning, we'll play the A part twice, and the B part twice, and that'll be the end of the video. So, here we go, B part, second finger to E, so, second finger on the A string, C sharp, going to E. First finger, four twos, and going down the ending, open A. Here comes the A part, second finger. Second finger to E and the long E. Back to our second finger C sharp. To e back and the first finger. Same third and fourth phrases. There it is. There's Boil the Them Cabbage Down. Congratulations on your first fiddle tune.